Hello and welcome back to MLG Columbus. I'm of course Spencer, joined now by the one and only Mr. X. How you doing, Ben? I'm doing good, man. What a way to kick off MLG Oh, Columbus. that was an insane series. I mean, that last recovery right. game, I mean, the last round of that recovery game with Theory, you know, picks up that ace you know, to get TK into that great Pretty number cool. one spot in the pool play. I mean, that is just huge. Yeah, pool play, we see so many crazy results, I feel. Yeah. So, of course, if you missed it earlier on, we kind of explained a little bit about how everything works. The top two teams from each pool advance to the winner's bracket. The bottom three go down into the loser bracket. Yeah, and right, I mean, that makes that Optic Gaming Prophecy match later even That's bigger. Right now. I mean, no, if Prophecy were to beat Optic Gaming, I mean, that would not look good for them to make it out of pool play. No, it really wouldn't. But up next on the main stage, I'm so excited for this yeah. game. Optic Nation taking on Joe. Justice. And we'll take a look at this Optic Nation lineup first of all. TP, what a player this guy is, honestly. A, a world champion. He's tied for the most Call of Duty land wins at 18. Yeah, yeah I know. TP is just one of the greatest players in Call of Duty history. Oh. Classified as an OBJ player, but he can slay with some of the best slayers in the game. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, we saw it all throughout last year, you know, whenever he wasn't doing the objective, he was like, oh, guys, don't worry. I'll get some kills this map. I'll, I'll do the work as well. Yeah, and you know, the second player coming on your screen is Karma, obviously <laughs> two-time yep. world champion in Black Ops 2 and Call of Duty goes, and he has the highest career earnings in all of Call of Duty. That's what two world championships will do for you. Give you a lot of income right there. And you know, Karma, I was speaking to him before the event started, he said, yeah, he feels really good. He's He's loving the fact that he's going into this event as an underdog in essence. People aren't giving this nation team a lot of credit. Right, and Karma's the type of player that he can take over a whole event. And you see joined by another one of his former teammates from Envy, Proofy. Uh, he's finished in the top two in every Call of Duty he's competed in. And he was a contest on the reality show Controller, which I was on as well. Were you actually? <laughs> yeah. I did not know that. You know that, that is yeah. pretty, that's awesome. Wow, I'm gonna use that now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell people, I know two people that are on the Controller. It's an awesome TV show, it really was. But yeah, Proofy slaying. The guys, well, let's, let's be honest, of course, the last player on this team, it's Money B. Mr. Embo is the objective player. He plays first with Unite at PAX Prime Invitational. That was a fantastic game. He's at 19 as well, and he's only placed outside the top eight once since Black Ops 2. Yeah, you know, this team is just made of such likable guys. I think what's really going to be the difference here is if they're going to be able to get their communication down. You know, at home, we've been seeing they have some communication issues, cause some arguments, but I think they'll get everything ironed out at LAN. Yeah, that's the key. And you brought that up in, in the 10K, I believe it was, yeah. when we were talking about Team Nation. You know, online is always tough. TP, he's known for not having the best internet connection. I feel like people have forgotten that. And the great thing about this Optic Nation team is, they just are all such good friends. Like, they were upstairs, they were joking around, having a laugh, like, they're cool, calm, and collective. And you see some of the body language you saw in the last series, you know, from a gaming spot when we went to those shots, they just didn't look confident, didn't look right. playing together. I think this is a team that they can shake off losses with ease and, you know, just laugh it off and yeah, exactly. go right into it. But they are playing against Justice, and Justice is definitely one of the top teams coming in, you know, the second seed in the entire oh, tournament. Yeah. I mean, Enable right here, you've been saying you know, he's going to be the breakout player this year, former Halo Pro and Red Bull athlete with status quo, and he placed second in his first year competing at AEL Dallas. And the great thing about Enable is I feel he is just going to be hunting down Formal. Formal, of course, the first Halo player to come over to COD and win a championship. And he might win one on Halo and COD. And Abel could do that too. And I know he looks at Formal, he's like, you beat me to it, man. You beat me to it. Yeah, and here comes Classic on your screen. He's placed third in back-to-back -back events at Most Wanted and got his career when he joined FaZe. You know, when he joined that FaZe roster, last Columbus here for Call of Duty goes, everyone was kind of like, who's Classic, who's Classic? And he came out and had one of the breakthrough events. He was a dominant slayer. He went on like a 14 kill oh, streak, I think, one of the games. Just a really good player. And obviously, what Most Wanted towards the end of the ghost season that they were one of the better teams. Oh, they were. It's interesting to see how he's changed his role as well. And it works. It really does with this Justice team. And of course, Mochilla, the AR Slayer. I just want to mention this guy has been in the finals of all six. Uh, he was in the grand finals of four and the semifinal of two of all of the online events. Yeah, that he happened. was playing with different teams all throughout. It, he so, was I mean, just winning everything. Yeah, he definitely has picked up this game faster than almost anybody else. You know, online, he's been dominating. I believe he is in the top two or three in pro points, and Slack yep. is going to round out the roster. He's only placed outside of the top four once since Black Ops. And then he's also, his first placing in uh, Black Ops 1 was actually with Notorious in top eight. Yeah, fantastic player. And I'm really happy to see Slack, you know, in a, in a solid team. I, I really am. You know, this guy, I just feel he's so talented that now he's in a really solid team. This Justice team are going to be doing some work this event. Don't underestimate them, that's for sure. But of course, the pool these guys are in, yeah. we dubbed it the Group of Death for a reason. Every single victory 
counts at this point. You can't afford to lose in this. Oh point. yeah, this could be the largest match in this pool. I, I mean, honestly think it could. You know, yeah, thinking about it. I mean, it. with Rise also in the pool. I mean, it's three powerhouse teams that we all probably expect in our top eight at the end of the day in one pool. That's what made the prediction so hard. Right. Because you look at your top eight, you're like, okay, these are some of the high-profile teams, and then you, you see the bracket and the way that you think the pool's going to go. It changes everything. It really does. But the first game is about to get underway. Matt, we're going over to some solar hardpoint action for this first game, and. Honestly, I want to see Optic Nation kick things off. I think these guys are going to be so solid. I mean, who do you reckon is going to be the key player on this Nation lineup? Well, the key player for Nation has to be Karma. I mean, Karma's going to have to go off. You know, with Embo's NTP, you lack a little bit of a third slayer, so you're going to need somebody to go off, and I think Karma's going to have to have a huge event. Yep, I completely agree. As right now, we're going to be on board with Karma, our two-time world champion, and we'll see exactly what he's going to do off the break. Of course, this first half point on Solar Matt, so, so tough to control. You don't really expect anyone to really get a lot of control of it. It's more that sort of scrappy time. Right, you're playing this mostly for the scrap time. You see Karma, he's just going to sit underground right here in this tunnel, and he's just going to pop out and pick up some kills off the different sides of the uh, map. And right there, you know, trying to challenge that player. Yellow Bridge, very difficult fight to fight from bottom middle. Well, we'll stay on Karma through the respawn and see if we can try and pick up any more kills. But you got plenty of time, so let's go. And you can see just how sort of small the lead is. And we mentioned, you know, it's all scrap time. Proofy here is going to be on that hill trying to contest it. A, a very, very common spot on this hill to just try and lie behind, get yourself that smallest amount of cover you can possibly get. Just stay alive. Yeah, you know, the first two hills are really ones where you're going to fight for scrap time. You know, the really the important hills are the third and fourth hill. You know, when it goes all the way across map, that's really when you're going to need to rotate early and take a majority of that time. Well, we will stay with Roof as he is making his way. TP just picked up two kills. I think they shot to a pretty decent start. This is really where we may see them try and pull away. TP is eight and four. There was a big question about this Optic Nation lineup, which was, you know, can we realistically expect, you know, TP and Bose to both play the objective? Because that was kind of how TP was recognized by last yeah. year. And you brought it up perfectly. TP can slay. Like, when he wants to, he can just turn up and get kills. Right, yeah, you know, TP can actually slay with the best one. One of the things that when he was on EG, you know, he really turned it up in the slaying department. I think one of his best events was champs at the uh, middle of the season. You know, obviously the million dollar event. I know you see Karma, he's going to push this hard point, but I think they should start rotating Ben. You know, this third hard point back in the Sentinel spawn, that's the one you really want to control. Well, you brought up a fantastic point about Optic Nation and whether they're going to be able to communicate well and how that's going to be different. So I want to throw now to a Turtle Beach team chat with Optic Nation. Top of the right building, top of the right building. Let's Let's here. The barrel's done, barrel's done, barrel's done. Right, right, they're all right, all right, boys. They're all right. Watch back door, back door. Back door, back door, back door. Back door got me, another one, another one. There are two there, two there. Two, two, two. Come on, the band, the band. And flank, and flank, and flank. 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 And flank, and flank, Get in the corner, I have blue building. Uh, middle, shot. middle, jump it up top, 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 top. Got him. Nice. Top dead. From middle. Middle, back jump it up with yellow cat. Backside, backside, two of them, one to the right. Two, two of them, two of them, hill, two of them, two of them, two of them, two of them. Uh, one seconds. yellow cat. Uh, I spawn, oh, uh, fuck it. I spawn back here. Push one push, push, push one push, that's it. Gage, one shot, one shot, hill, one shot, hill, one shot, hill, one shot. Back right, back right, back right. Back right, one more, one more, okay, rotate, rotate now, rotate now. Good job, keep killing them as you rotate, though. Yeah, they don't push behind us. Right side. Hold down right, boys. I'm holding down right. That one left side dead. One more, one more. Already right. Already right. Already right. right. Already right. Keep right. your grenade. Left grenade. dead. Killing one over there. Thanks. Right here. Right here. Right here. Okay, Jumping up top middle. I put, watch your back. I got left. I got left. Oh, blue street. Blue blank, street. Blue street. Yeah. Oh, one shot. One shot. There's two. I'll There's play no one up. over here. One right side now. One out. I spawn out. No. Dead. One coming right side now. One coming right side now. Right side got me. Two, right side two got left. Two left. Two blue. I got blue. Two blue. I'm going left. I'm going left. Two blue. I'm here left. I spawn left. I spawn left. I spawn left. Push it up. Push it up. Done him at the band. Throw grenade. One shot. I'm right side, 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 right Go ahead. Oh, right side, job. right side, band, right side, band. Oh, Can you bring it back yeah, here, boys? Bring it back here. Two over there, two over there. We're Gucci, we're Gucci. Let's go. Yep. Hold on, I'm pushing blue wall. I'm pushing blue wall. Oh, oh shit. Oh. One, 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 one more, one more, one more. I need help. I need help. Dead. One more, one more on the catwalk. On that catwalk. Got me, knife me, knife me. On the catwalk. Come back in. 
one back, 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 one Hey, good job, team. Blue up, 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 blue up. And heal, and heal. Ah, he's on the front side. We need stack this time. We need stack kill. Let's go. Stack it. Big kills. Nice, Jordan. One more on top on the ledge. One more on top of the ledge. Ledge dead. Good job. All right, let's go. Keep it up. I'm right. Get in hill. Get in hill. Top blue side. Blue side weak. Blue side weak. Get blue side. One more. One more from blue side. In hill now. Yeah, yeah. Stack in hill. We need this time. Get all this time. Let's go. Good shot, yo. Look up top. Look up top. Stop, stop, stop. It's all good. It's all good. Keep stacking. Keep stacking. All this time. Bring it back to the middle. Let's go, boys. Another one coming front, 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 right now. Right front, side, right, right now. Right side, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Let's fall behind us. Watch out, Hill. That turtle beach team chat with Optic Nation. You can see the score is just mounting toward Justice. I know. Just as an online team coming in, not yep. a lot of people knew what to expect, but they are playing the same exact game they've been playing at home. It's, it's exactly that. Couldn't put it better myself. They just haven't changed their playstyle. You know, a couple of times you'll see teams that change how they play online to how they play on land, but right now that is just not Justice. Enable currently 19 and 14, Slack 25 and 18. You want to see a little bit of Enable as he jumps onto that hill, breaks two kills himself, and Classic are going to stay alive on there. And they're just going to try and build that lead up right now, Matt. 131 to 89. Yeah, Nation has to be careful. You know, this game is getting away from them. You can see Bose and Karma struggling in the kill department a little bit. Bose with 15, Karma with 16. You know, like we were saying before the game, Karma is going to need to slay for this team to win. If yep. he is not going to be their top slayer every game, it's going to be very difficult for Optic Nation this weekend. It really will, as right now, you know, you put... Oh, oh, wow, that was oh. nice. You just turned around and picked up a very, very simple kill, but it's just Justice who are pulling away with this lead. As Slack picks up another nice kill. He's almost at that 30 bomb mark, and you look at that kill column for this Justice team. Look how kind of even it is beside Slack. Of course, you have Slack lead slaying, but everyone else is around, you know, that, that 23 average kill mark. Yeah, and, you know, Slack is a player I feel like a lot of people don't recognize. I mean, when he was on MW, so you know, true. him and Huddle were a really dominant duo. You know, they always were in the top three. You know, now coming over to this Justice team, playing with Enable, I think Enable can teach him a little bit more maturity and you know how to really you know, play as a team player and he can take Slack to the top. TP currently 26 and 28, lead slaying for Optic Nation as they are trailing by over 60 points right now. Karma just trying to stay alive on the hill. Of course, it is going to be contested. Tries to get the melee attack. Not going to happen. Classic picks up one. Has the support from Slack. He's also going to be on that hill with 31 kills. Make that 32 with another impressive kill. Uh, Justice, they are not disappointing, Matt. You know, both of us were kind of hyping him up on that bracket show, saying this is definitely a team you need to look out for. Do not underestimate these guys. Yeah, and the thing that I was worried about with Justice coming in was who was going to do their OBJ work, Ben. Right. You, know, you didn't know who was going to do it. Yes. Classic, obviously, we were talking about a Slayer. You know, Enable has always been a Slayer, and so has Slack and Mochilla. But it looks like Classic, with eight captures, is going to pick up that role for this team. And you see, in the slaying department, he's also bringing what he usually brings as well. So if he is going to play like that and do the OBJ work this That's weekend, huge, that man. is a huge win for Justice. I mean, if you can rely on the guy on the hill to just oh, go off man. on the hill as well, that's massive. And you see exactly how he's doing what he's doing. He's on a four-kill streak right now. Fantastic performance from Classic. Eight caps, as you mentioned, though. But as well as that, you got Mochilla, someone who you kind of, when you think about Mochilla, you think about, you know, your standalone assault rifle, kind of a turret guy. He's just going to stand there and he's going to kill things. But right now, he's adapted so well to advanced warfare. He can do everything. Look at the lead as well, by the way. Yeah, you know, Mochilla, one of the slower players in, you know, former Call of Duty, you know, known for his slow AR play. You know, Advanced Warfare came out, you weren't sure how he was going to fare. You know, such a fast game with all the new EXO abilities and movements at your right. disposal. But he has come in, and he has been one of the most consistent players. Karma, he was trying to milk that scrap time, but the hard point does rotate now. Select is already there. He's looking yeah. for that 40 bomb. I want to stay you, on board. You with notice him so how far it. away Optic Nation was spawning from yep. the hard point right there, and they all spawn up on that right side, Ben. That's going to force them to flood through this little area, and that is not what you want to do. Yeah, Slack does go down, so they are still picking up the points. 229 to 111. Classic, just taking his time to stay alive. You know, just get as much time as you possibly can, and. Optic Nation is struggling a lot. I'm really surprised. I honestly thought when it came down to it, that slaying, I mean, the communication was yeah. great. It, it, the communication was really good, but the slaying is just under. No, the, communi right now. the communication was there when we went into that team chat. You right. heard them communicating better than you know, I have heard them communicate 
at home online, but no, Justice just too much right now. And Ooh, I think it's because kill feed. you see Nation, they're just pushing the hill one-on-one -on -one together. You know, when one player like Karma has 12 captures, that means he's just jumping into the hill, getting a kill, getting control, and trading that effectively. And there's nobody else there to pick that up. Yeah, you, you just can't do that. Slack drops 40. And Hardpoint Classic drops 35 with nine caps as well. And Abel, he wasn't too far behind at 35 kills in Machilla. The player that in my mind, I think he's going to be the lead player. 33. Unbelievable performance. Karma, though, 12 captures for him, only one defend. And really, that defend column was uh, what really tells a story in that game for me. Yeah. Just not picking up enough defense. Yeah, you know, they never really got any control over the hill. It was kind of like what I was saying. They, right. they were just getting in and juggling it and never getting any good time. You saw exactly that. moments in the game where Justice was just dominating the kill feed. You know, six, seven kills in a row, straight going to Justice. And, and hard point on this game, that will get your team spawned all together and you all have to flood from one way, and that is not good. Yeah, it really isn't. So that's game number one. Straight to Justice, I thought it'd be a little closer than yeah. that. That was kind of anticlimactic, to be honest with you. Ulti Nation just getting completely blown out. We're going to go to a quick commercial break. When we return, game two.